What's going on everyone? This is Tony Monk, your host with the most, and you are tuned in to the new wave of sports that is sweeping the nation. But we're not just angry, we're spot on. This is Spot On Sports. Welcome back to another episode of SOS Discussions. I am your host, Brianna Franklin. To my left, I have the lovely Sequoia. To my right, I have Tony Monk. Let's hop right into it, guys. All right. Magic Johnson has officially stepped down as the president for the LA Lakers. So, what is the next step? The Lakers just have a lot of problems going on. Um, first, I, I gotta say, well, upper management, you know, we and poor, poor Magic Johnson. First off, you know, coming in, you thought you would work magic with the Lakers, and realize that your magic tricks are a little dead. And, you know, the AD trade blew up in front of his face. Um, you know, is how much influence or trying to give influence to LeBron James? You know, that's a question that you, you kind of have to ask. Uh, Luke Walton possibly being fired and, you know, maybe bringing in uh, Ty Lue as the next head coach. I think the Lakers have to get it right in the front office first before it gets right on the court. Because what happened, like I said, I got to go back to the AD trade. That didn't fall through. So you, you got to baby up all these guys to trade uh, with, with Lonzo and the rest of those guys. And it doesn't happen. And now you deal with broken continuity in the locker room. These guys are like, I was supposed to be traded last week. Or, lo and behold, they didn't know they were supposed to be traded. Now they look at LeBron like, well, we know you wanted AD. And it didn't work out. So I think those are just some of the, the, the holes that the Lakers have. Okay, so what do you think? Oh, yeah, Tony, like, I totally agree with you. Um, I feel as though the Lakers, they, it's like a sad song, really, right now. <laughs> it's, a, it's a sad country song at that because honestly, I feel like they just have to go back and press reset. Genie is gonna have to go and go ahead and clear house. Forget it. And the thing about the Lakers, I think, with their front office is that they spare too many feelings. They don't. They too, um, you know. Oh, I had a relationship with Luke for this many years. Me and Matt Magic been a part of the Lakers. Been special to the Lakers since you know, this time for this many years, and she don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. And at the end of the day, this is a business, you know? She gave um, Magic the okay to go ahead and fire Luke. Okay, Magic steps down before he even gets a chance, but now it's out that Luke was going to get fired. Although he knew, but now it broke, you know? You see the dust, the fire that just got built up. Exactly, and just just like with the with the trade rumors, okay, yeah, we want AD. However, we want to get rid of uh, get rid of Lonzo. We want to get rid of um, all those other guys. But then the trade does not happen. I'm there's like you know we're already what 37 for 35 uh, for 45 this season. Right. They finished the season with winning 37, losing 45. Last season it was 35, 47. So, but they got two games. And which this season ended up basically <laughs> worse than last season. Exactly. And LeBron James. And I just think that this is my expectation. I didn't expect the Lakers to even make the playoffs this year. With the young core they had, they was no different than what the Cavs had bringing in Larry Dance and all those guys over there. I think that the Lakers are trying to rush back to start because, oh, we got LeBron James. This is automatic playoffs, automatic championship. LeBron James is getting older. Is he still impactful? Yes. But obviously he couldn't drag that team to the playoffs based off everything that was going on. The Lakers, were, not the Lakers, but the Cavs were terrible last year. They got to the conference finals, albeit it was in the East. LeBron probably did learn a little less since the West, going against the Warriors, Houston, the yeah. Pacers, right. uh, uh, it's, it's, uh, the Rockets. It's, it's a little challenging. OKC is there. It's not, it's not as easy as it was. And I think that Magic and the Lakers, they got a little anxious, right? Pelicans didn't really want AD going to the Lakers to begin with. Yeah. They wanted to trade him somewhere else, especially being in the same conference. So. I just think it, I'm, I'm with you. They got you have to start over. And with Jeannie okay. Buss, and I'm not going to say anything because you know she's female. And I know a bit of your questions go out about that. Her running the franchise, but it's okay to be to be me. <laughs> you yeah, know, it's listen, okay to press the button. You're up. running a business, and the thing about it is, although Magic looked like the perfect candidate from the outside, you know, just the magazine cover of Magic Johnson, D Magic Johnson, to you know go ahead and run the team. However, 
Magic is used to the celebrity. He used to it easy. Like he said, um, he wanted to reach out to players like um, Westbrook and um, with Ben Simmons or whatever. He wanted to reach out to these players, but he couldn't because of different protocol with right. what's yeah. going on. He wanted to go to Dwayne Wade's last home game, but he could not do that as well. And so he didn't realize that that position came with so much. He's just thinking, oh yeah, the Lakers, this, this is family, you know, we're gonna do this thing, we got LeBron. He didn't realize, oh, the workload that comes with the position. And Jeannie, I think she, she knew that he probably couldn't handle it as well. However, I feel like you know, they don't wanna hurt Billy. Right, and a, a, Hall of, a Hall of Fame Lakers, you say, hey, well, let's, let's give the guy a try, and Magic found out the hard way. And you know what? I can't even criticize him for, for his reason of leaving. If this yeah. if this isn't for you and you're saying, hey, I want to so I gotta get out the kitchen. Yeah, I want to. <laughs> I, I want to be this. Go ahead. Yeah, so. and then for Magic Johnson, you know, he is used to being the star right, and right. the guy that everyone loves. I don't think that he could deal with the scrutiny the scrutiny of his decisions being made for the team. And um, yeah, he couldn't take the hot seat. So yeah. he had to get up out of there. And I respect him stepping down and not letting it get too far to where like nobody wants to come to the Lakers because they know it's a second to the front. And one year is fine. That's perfect. If one year I tried it. I got, I I like got LeBron. Yeah, I know. He's a <laughs> I, I got LeBron. And, uh, uh, like I said, they still rushed. Yeah. And I think Magic could have stayed had they not put things out of the right? But hey, I got this. Yeah, if, if the AD trade yeah. goes through, I think he stays. But moving on, um, AD has been extremely busy this offseason. Not only has he got a new team, but he's also taking shots at his old team. We'll discuss coming up next. Well, thank you guys for tuning in to this week's episode. Be sure to check out more shows here on this YouTube page, such as SOS Discussions or My Point Exactly. And most of all, keep watching Spot on Sports. It's a new wave of sports that's sweeping the nation. We're not just accurate, it's spot on.